Consider this radical equation. The square root of 4x plus 3 plus the square root of 7x plus 8. All of that is equal to 5. What is the value of x? Feel free to try this problem if you wish. So the first thing we need to do in order to solve this equation is we need to take the square of both sides. This will get rid of the radical that is the red radical on the outside. So what we're going to have left over is 4x plus 3 plus the square root of 7x plus 8. That's going to equal 5 squared or 5 times 5, which is 25. Now the next thing that we want to do is take these two terms, move it to the other side. By doing so, they will change sign. So the positive 4x that we have here will now be negative 4x. And positive 3 will change to negative 3 once it's moved from the left side to the right side. Now the next thing that we could do is combine like terms. 25 minus 3 is equal to 22. So we have 22 minus 4x on the right side of the equation. Now, to get rid of the second radical, we need to square both sides again. So we're going to have 7x plus 8 on the left side. On the right side, let's expand this expression. This is 22 minus 4x times itself. So to FOIL this, we're going to multiply 22 by 22, and that is equal to 484. Next, we're going to multiply 22 by negative 4x, so that's negative 88x, and then negative 4x times 22, that's going to be the same. And then finally, negative 4x times negative 4x, which is positive 16x squared. Now, let's combine like terms. So we're going to have 16x squared, negative 88 minus 88. That's negative 176x. And then plus 44. Now, we have a quadratic equation on the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything from the left side, move it to the right side. We can do this by subtracting both sides by 7x and by 8. So we're not going to have anything left over on the left side. On the right side, we're going to have 16x squared minus 183x, and then 484 minus 8. That's positive 476. Now at this point, we could use the quadratic formula, which is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So we can clearly see that a is 16, b is negative 183, and c is 476. So the formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So it's negative and then times b, which is negative 183. b squared, that's negative 183 squared. And then minus 4 times a, a is 16, and c is 476, divided by 2a, or 2 times 16. So these two negative signs will cancel, giving us positive 183. One eighty three squared, that's going to be thirty three thousand four hundred eighty nine. And then minus four times sixteen times four hundred seventy six, that's thirty thousand four hundred and sixty four. And then two times sixteen is thirty two. 
33,489 minus 30,464. That's 3,025. The square root of 3,025 is 55. So this will give us potentially two answers. The first one is going to be 183 plus 55 divided by 32. And for the second one, we have 183 minus 55 divided by 32. 183 plus 55, that's 238. And 238 divided by 32. You can reduce that to 119 over 16 if you divide both numbers by 2. For the next one, 183 minus 55 is 128. And 128 divided by 32 is 4. So we have two potential answers, x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 119 over 16, which as a decimal, that is 7.4375. Now we need to check for extraneous solutions. We need to make sure that both answers or even one of the answers is correct. So let's go back to the original problem, where we had the square root of 4x plus 3 plus the square root of 7x plus 8, which equals 5. So let's start with this answer. Let's see if that's going to work. So let's replace x with 4. Four times four is 16, and 16 plus three is 19. Inside the other radical, we have seven times four, which is 28, and 28 plus eight is 36. Now the square root of 36 is six, and 19 plus six is 25, and the square root of 25 is five. So this answer is correct. X does equal 4. Now let's check the other answer. So we're going to have the square root of 4 times 119 over 16 plus 3 plus the square root of 7 times 119 over 16 plus 8. So I'm definitely going to use my calculator for this one. 7 times 119 over 16 plus 8, that's 60.0625. Taking the square root of that, it gives us 31 over 4, which is 7.75. Adding that to 3, that's going to be 10.75. And then 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 4 times 119 over 16, that's just 119 over 4. 119 divided by 4 as a decimal is 29.75. Add that to 10.75, that gives you 40.5. The square root of 40.5 is not 5. In fact, it equals 6.36396 with some other numbers. And that doesn't equal 5. So therefore, this solution doesn't work. So we only have one answer for this radical equation. That is x is equal to 4. And that's basically it. So now you know how to solve a radical problem where you have a radical inside another radical. The key is to take the square of both sides of the equation to get rid of the radical. And since you have two radicals, you need to take the square of both sides twice uh, throughout this problem. So that's the general way in which you can solve uh, an equation that contains radicals. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to solve a composite radical equation problem. 
So if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thanks again for watching.